So the AirPods Max came out in December 2020, so they are now one year and three months old. I did not buy these on launch day in 2020. I did get them in January in 2022, so I'm almost having them for three months right now. So are they still worth it to buy and do recommend them in 2022? In this video you will know it. So first we're going to talk about the design. I do love this design. And I know some people will not agree with me. But that's normal. Everyone does have a different taste. The AirPods Max cups are out of aluminum. I did choose the space grey color to match my other Apple products. And everyone was saying they were really heavy. But this is not that heavy as you shall think. Yeah of course they are heavier than the most headphones out of plastic. But the weight is not something that makes me throw them away. And personally for me they are not that heavy. And I will not mind if they will be lighter. The AirPods Max air cushions are so comfortable it's like there are pillows on your head it is insane and they look so clean they attach with a magnet to it so you can swap them easily when they are dirty and the headband is made from a breathable knit mesh to disturb the weight and to reduce on head pressure and i can say it feels really good and i don't feel any pressure from it i'm just a little concerned if something sharps cut into that it will break really fast so keep that in mind if you want to buy these be careful with it the stainless steel frame is covered with a silicon for comfort strength and flexibility the telescoping arms smoothly extend and stay where you set them. The AirPods Max cups do have also a mechanism that allows each cup to rotate independently. On the right cup is the digital crown and the button for active noise cancellation and transparency mode. But I will talk later in this video about that. The last thing about the design is of course a smart case. Most people call this the perch and I agree with them, but not in every part. For me it is okay that it is not the case that protects the whole AirPods Max, because that will be a heavy ugly big case. But I agree that the build quality of this case is really poor. It is a really soft silicon case. I do like the design of it but not the material they use for it. It shall be much better if this was a hard plastic case. If I want to charge it, the lining port needs to be aligned with the case. Sometimes the case is in the way and I need to manually move the case to plug the lightning cable in the AirPods Max. And this could simply be fixed with the hardest silicon case. But I will talk about the case later in this video. It's amazing how this sounds. But I'm going to talk in depth about the sound in a few minutes. First I'm going to talk on what technology is inside these and how these exactly work and how these produce the audio. So there are two H1 chips in the AirPods Max, one in each cup. The H1 chip was already in the second generation AirPods and also in the AirPods third generation and in the AirPods Pro. So what does H1 mean? So the H stands for hearables and the 1 stands for the generation of it. It is really simple to understand. And what does the H1 exactly do? It's it's an Apple designed audio processor and it helps to make a stable connection with Apple devices. It also helps to switch easily between all the Apple devices you have. It is also more energy efficient and 20% lower latency when you are gaming. So there is a lot of things that the H1 does. I hope Apple will release the H2 chip inside the AirPods Pro 2 later this year. Then there is also the Apple designed dynamic drivers in it that produces the wide frequency range that uncovers the rich details of every sound. And if you listen to in song on the AirPods Max you will hear textures and accuracy that you never heard before in music. Also if you put the volume at 100% the music will stay constantly clear so no distortion. And I do edit my audio with AirPods Max and on my older videos there is a lot of noise in it but I can only hear that with the AirPods Max. So from day one I did have this AirPods Max there is almost no noise in my videos anymore. So now we are going to talk a little bit more in depth about the sound. This sounds incredible but Bluetooth is a limiting factor right now. That's because Bluetooth does not have that much bandwidth. And that's why the midtones in music is not so good. I think it can get way better if the AirPods Max that support wireless loses audio. So I'm worried that Apple does the same what they did with Intel to the M1 transition. Just kill off Bluetooth and make a much better version of it. Some leakers are saying that Apple will have loseless audio support in the AirPods Pro 2 later this year. I hope that is true. And I did have seen on Reddit that there is isn't sort of Wi-Fi chip inside the AirPods Max. So maybe if Apple is going to release the AirPods Pro 2 with loseless audio, they will roll out a software update for it. This is not a leak or something, but just speculation. Apple did do the same with the iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 through that camera system. Later on in an update, they enabled Face ID with mask support. So that's why I think the AirPods Max are future proof for loseless. And on the time of release, the wireless loseless system was not ready yet. So we will see what Apple will do. 
Yeah, there are things I do love. Of course, I was saying it already, the sound is amazing. I also do enjoy the transparency mode, it feels so natural. And also, I enjoy the active noise cancellation, it does almost block out all the surrounding noise. The design and also like, yeah, some things can get better, but for now, I do enjoy it. It is so nice, if I take my AirPods Max off, it automatically stops playing music, and if I put them back on, it starts playing my music again. I know this is not a new technology, but it is really nice that it's also on my AirPods Max. The battery life is also amazing up to 20 hours and yeah that's what i do like about it there's so much more i like but i think these are the main things i do love the design the battery the sound of course and the feeling of it it's, it's so comfortable and i can't without i do really enjoy this if i'm editing my videos and editing my voice and other stuff Every product in the world does have problems, nothing is perfect, so there are things I hate, so I don't understand why Apple did put lining on the AirPods Max. What was Apple thinking? If they did put a USB-C on this headphone, it will be much nice for charging and also for music producers. Then they could have a solid USB-C connection. The next thing is of course Bluetooth. Let me be clear about this. I don't hate Bluetooth, but I think Apple should make their own wireless audio chip to provide loseless and no delay. For me, Bluetooth is outdated and needs a big upgrade or Apple should make their own version of it. It. The next thing I do not like is the case. I was saying this in the beginning of this video, it just needs to be out of a hard silicon case that will make it a lot better. Maybe put a battery into the case and throw some magnets in the case. If you place your AirPods Max in the case, it snaps in the right position. So Apple, it is really simple, just a bigger AirPods case, but for the AirPods Max. So I also hate that it is really difficult to see what is right and left on it. Yeah, I know. If you see the digital crown, you know it's the right one. But normally the AirPods Max will not have a right and a left channel, they will figure out what will be right and left so technically you could put them on your head and don't be worried about you have them on the wrong way on but i think the technology for that was not ready yet maybe for the airpods max 2 So here we are at the last chapter of this video, the end conclusion of the AirPods Max. Are they worth it in 2022? Well, it's really hard, there's a no and a yes, because it's so expensive and for this price you can get so much more, like an iPad mini. I do use my AirPods Max daily and for me it is really worth it. I'm almost using this every day, but I'm not sure if I recommend this for everyone. If you really want them and you have the money, just buy them, you will be happy with it, they're really good. But if you're having AirPods Pro or something and you don't know how you're exactly going to use the AirPods Max, don't buy these because they're so expensive and yeah it's really you can do so much more with this money for me i really wanted them i'm gonna use them so much with video editing music editing and also for if i want to listen to high quality music if you're a music producer don't buy these as well these are not good enough for music production but if you want to listen to really good music through bluetooth then there you go these are the best bluetooth headphones on the market so yeah that's my conclusion so are they worth it no it's simply because there's too expensive for the most of people are they good yes that's an other answer but for now they're not worth it maybe if they bring out airpods max 2 and they add more features to it maybe some loseless audio and all that stuff wireless that will be mind-blowing and then they will be worth it for more people i will say maybe for this price so this was the video for this week i hope you enjoyed it so don't forget to follow me on twitter and also don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to like this video and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and i'll respond to it i will see you in the next video Thank you.